If you hear strange noises tonight when you go to bed, consider that many Southern Californians are dealing with rat and mice infestations, and they're most active at night. A big rat can sneak into your home through a hole as small as a quarter and cause trouble round the clock. And as Lou Parker reports, these sneaky creatures don't care if you live in a small apartment or a mansion. They just want in. In comfortable homes, a quiet war is raging. On one side, the warriors. On the other, the enemy. Then you'd, you'd hear fighting. Or... Going crazy. I mean, it was, it was a rat zoo up in our attic. Rodents are an assault on happy homeowners. This woman so embarrassed by the problem, she wouldn't let us show her face on camera. If you look up here, you came down through there. And as we looked, there was a rat up in here. For rats and mice, it's a battle for survival. They want water and a place to live. So typically, attics underneath houses are the main spot they live. And if you give them enough time, they will start coming in the house. Trevor Horonic of Abolish Pest Control is an experienced soldier in the rodent clash. He's been fighting these small combatants for years and understands his adversaries. They breed like seven times a year. So six months is, is just a recipe for disaster. In L.A. County, they are active year-round, especially when the weather cools down or heats up. And if you've got them, you've got to get them out. Step one, get rid of any food sources, including dog food, bird seed, even fruit that's fallen off a tree. Step two, seal up even the smallest entries into your home. Rodents can get in through holes as small as a quarter. Step three, trap the rodents to remove them, but don't use poison. Since rats and mice that die in your home will have a terrible odor, Gail Van Gordon supervises rat control in L.A. County. She explains what else rodents leave behind. Bacteria could be there. You could have dander from the mice. You could have hair from the mice, mold spores. Hantavirus, a deadly disease that affects the respiratory system, can also be spread by rodents, not just by touching their droppings or urine, but even by breathing in dust contaminated by it. There are 34 other diseases associated with rodents in the home, so you need to know how to clean things up once the critters are gone. A lot of people use their household vac to, to suck that stuff up, and I mean, that's, that's a very, very dangerous thing to do. We have chemicals that we spray on the feces as far as killing the germ, the virus, the bacteria. The battle may be over for this family, but for another homeowner, the war is about to begin. One day they're not there, the next day they're they're there, and they're there in force. In force. Ugh, hard to watch. Lou says it isn't the roof rat or the typical house mouse that usually carries hantavirus, but a small mouse called the deer mouse or white-footed mouse. It's found most often in rural areas. Mice in San Bernardino County recently tested positive for the virus. For more information, log on to our website at ktla.com. We've got important advice about how to get rid of a rodent problem and make sure your family is safe.